Hey guys, so great. So today's video, I'm gonna do a good and bad Ulta products because some of my friends we have gone to Ulta and I'm like, hey, why don't you get that? And then they're like, oh, I don't, I don't want to because it's probably bad and it'd be Ulta brands and people do underestimate all like the Ulta brand. On, I mean, some of the products are bad, some of them are okay, and some of them are good, and some of them are like really good. Um. So, oh, by the way, I'm listening to our Kiss of I'm sorry, in the background, so, um, what the heck? Sorry, I got distracted. But, yes, and I have a little owl here. This is one of my favorite necklaces. I love it so much. But, um, so I have some products. I have brushes, I have nail polish, lip gloss, eyeliner, mascara, concealer, blushes, eyeshadow. So, yeah. Um, so I hope you like, and keep watching if you would like to. Um, okay, so first thing, I'm going to start out with brushes. I got these three brushes actually in a set that, well, it, yeah, a set that I got for free. You had, this is actually quite a while ago, but you had to pay $17.50 online. To make, you have to make a $17.50 purchase online, and then you would get a 25 piece, I mean, 20, oops, what was that? Um, 25 piece set free, so this came with it. Um, so there came with a contour blush brush, a concealer brush, or I use it for concealer anyways, and then a little small eyeshadow brush. That was really like, anyways. Um, the first thing is the, um, blush brush. And this is actually a pretty good blush brush. I would say because I actually use it today to put on my blush. I have a more of a light colored blush on today. But I just use it and I just go like this. And I just go like this. It's like that. And I like how it's angled. You see it's angled. So I like how it's angled so then it's easier to apply it to your face. So I actually like this brush. I mean it's obviously not the best brush, but it's pretty good. Um this concealer or whatever, it's full of concealer. See it used to be black, but it's not black anymore. Um but yeah, it's just like a sponge. See? I like this commercial. I'm super jealous. Let's plan a trip Okay, anyways. Um, but this brush is, isn't, it's like worthless. And so was like this eyeshadow brush. I mean, this eyeshadow brush is super, super small. I mean, it works, I guess. But, I mean, they're just like worthless. So, these just aren't that good at all. But I like the wash brush. That's pretty good. Um, I also got this, um, um, nail polish and it is in the color the jungle book and it's just like a jungle green color and this is probably one of the worst nail polishes I have ever tried from Alta. Now also this is just the like regular nail polish. This is actually a mini one. They have big ones that are like this size or whatever but see it's mini regular but um this just completely sucks. It is super thin and chips super easy. You need, you seriously need like ten coats to get a nice, like a nice even coat. You need ten coats. It's just horrible, and it just does not work that well at all. Um, it just isn't good. I have a video on it. It's called the Good and Bad Nail Polishes, and you can go check it out if you want more in-depth details. So I'll, I'll link that down in the in the description box below. Um, if you want to check that out. And people have actually been asking me about my hair. Um, it's called the Rope Braid, and I will also have there's I have a hair tutorial on that. If you want to check that out too, I'll have that in the description box below. If you want to check that out too, um, I've just said that like two times. Whatever. Um, so this is just isn't that good. They have Ulta Professional nail polish line, and I really, actually I really like them. They are so much different than this. This just sucks. But their Ulta Professional nail polish line is actually really good. Um, so that's good. Um. Okay, I have two different kinds of blushes. Actually, this is, this one right here is actually called a, oops, sorry, you guys just, ugh, you guys just moved. Okay, um, this is actually called Cheek Color. 
um, which is also another name for blush, but this blush, but this isn't that great, like, it looks weird, and the reason why there's circles on it is because I'm pretty much, like, to the pan. I just want to use this up just to get rid of it, because I don't really like wasting products, and I think it's, I don't know, I just don't like it. Um, but, um, so, it's just, the color payoff isn't that great either. Um, the texture is weird. The only good thing is it smells good. guess that's okay. <laughs> it smells weird, but, I mean, it smells good. The good weird. Yeah, but anyways, I just don't like it that much. The texture is weird. I mean, I mean the texture is okay. It's just the color payoff isn't that great. So, that's not that great. But this is Alta Mineral Blush. And this stuff is actually pretty good. I like the texture. It's like a regular powder blush texture should be. The color payoff is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, I don't believe this is too expensive either. Um, I think it's like... Six dollars or something. I don't, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Um, but that's that. Um, oh, anyway, and by the way, this is in the color tulip. If you wanted to know, it's kind of like peachy orange, but more on like the lighter side. I really like this color, and if you see, I'm down to the pan because I really, really like this. Um, so that's a really good raw product. Um, I have an eyeshadow. And this is just the regular eyeshadows. Um, this is actually my favorite Alta eyeshadow. Um, okay, sorry. Um, this is just a single eyeshadows. And, um, this is in the color Seashell. And like I said, this is my favorite one. It looks like this. It's really, really pretty. It doesn't show that much up in the camera. Let me see. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, I have like a lamp over me. My lighting is horrible. Apologize. I'm hoping to get better lighting. And I'm hoping to fill somewhere else. But, um, yes. So, um, I really like them. They're only $7 a piece, so they're not that expensive, and I love the color payoff. I love their shade selection. I just love them, period. I just love their eyeshadows so much, so I think they're definitely worth the $7. And nowadays, $7 for an eyeshadow is pretty good compared to, like, MAC or NARS or whatever. Um, so that's good. And then I have two Ulta eyeshadow quads. And these aren't anything special. I think they're just like the same ones as these little ones. Except they're just in a quad. Um, so I'm just going to run through the colors. Colors. I like colors and quad mixed up. Anyways. Um, I really like these colors. Um, the only thing I don't like about them being in a quad like this is because there's the... Eyeshadow was so packed into that little small space is that it's kind of hard to get the product on the brush. Um, but, I mean, the color payoff is pretty good. You just kind of, like, they come with these type of brushes. Here, I'll show you. This one's kind of dirty. But they come with, like, you know, these type of brushes. So if you just use one of these, then it looks, it works really good. See, it was in, it was in there like that before, but I kind of just took it out. I don't use these that much though. Um, but yes, I like these. Club F is awesome. It's hard to get on the brush. That's the only bad thing. Um, so, and they're very compact too. So they're good for traveling or just good to put in your makeup bag and your purse or whatever. Um, actually, I'm, oh, I was going to run through the colors. Okay, so this is just a, it's like a bone color, except it has a little bit of shimmer. And um, so that one's called Silk. This one's like a vibrant yellow. That one's called Honeybee. This is a really, really pretty um, dark navy blue. And that one's called Sapphire. And then that one's like an emerald green. And it's called Green Machine. So I like those. And then this is another one. That one is called Bone. And it's and it's like the silk one here. Except without shimmer. And it's very, very matte. And then the rest of these have shimmer. That one right there is called um, Mystique. This one is called Espresso, and it kind of has, like, gold undertones. And then 
that one's called Go Gold Dust, but it doesn't really have gold undertones. Actually, yeah, I lied, it kind of does. Okay. So, Bone, Mystique, um, Espresso, and Gold Dust. And I really like this for a good smoky eye. I might do a tutorial on that. So, that's that. And the next thing, okay, I have concealer. And concealer, this is Alta's um, Fabulous Face Concealer in Fair to Light. And this stuff is way too light for my skin. I used to be lighter than this. Right now, my head looks really dark compared to, like, here. It's not, I swear. <laughs> um, but this stuff is, I think, $7. Um, I'm not entirely sure. No, 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 I think it's like $10, $9 or $10 or something like that, I don't remember, I think it's $9. But this stuff, it looks like this. So it just twists up and looks like that. And... This looks like that. And it rubs in really nice, so I like the texture. It just, the only thing I don't like about it is it just doesn't cover that well. I mean... Okay, that's nail polish right there, so here, I'm gonna put some on there. Okay, put some on there. This doesn't cover that well, like, at all. I mean, it looks a little lighter, but it just doesn't cover that much at all. And the worst thing you want to do is put a light concealer on, um... If, you, if your concealer is lighter than your skin, um, than your skin tone, the worst thing to do is just put a lighter, a light conceal, concealer, a lighter concealer on a light, on your darker skin tone. It just makes your under eye circles just stand out even more. So that's just horrible. It's just like a no no. <laughs> um, but this stuff, I don't really like it that much. So that's that. And then I have a mascara, and this is Alta's Voluptuous, Voluptuous Volume Volume Mascara. Now it looks like this. Here. Looks like that. And the brush is just it's nice and long and full, which I really like. And I'm like losing my voice. Like, I really love Maybelline um, mascaras like the best. Um, or CoverGirl's Lash Blast, which this kind of reminds me of because it's like the packaging is like orange, but it's like shiny. But anyways, this stuff, that's what it looks like. It, the only thing I do like that it separates the lashes is just, um... It, it doesn't really clump. It separates them more than clumps. I know some people like that clumpy feeling or that clumpy look. I'm just putting some on because I have some mascara underneath this. Just some. But. But yes. See, it, it like separates the lashes. So it's pretty good mascara, and it isn't like the like. Do you guys like see that? See, it has a little bit clumpy, but I like the texture. It's not too clumpy. I mean, a little clump here and there is okay. I just don't like that too much clump or it doesn't look that natural. I mean, I like more of a natural look. That's what I'm all about. No, I'm just kidding. That was really, really stupid. Um, but this stuff works pretty well. Um, sorry. My leg has been hurting me, like, insanely, so I have to, like, stretch it here and there. Um, I have leg problems. But, okay, sorry. Anyways, um, so it makes my lashes really nice. I really like this one better, see? So, I like that pretty much. 
it's pretty good. So, it's not the best. Um, so both stuff's pretty good. And then I have two dual ended eyeliners. Um, these are just the regular, um, coal eyeliners. They're not, obviously not liquid. Um, they're not felt tip or anything. They're just the regular coal eyeliners. Um, so I like these because, um, you can make them really sharp so not really sharp but you can make them sharp they go on the waterline really nice and i like they're very bold when you put it on it's not like you have to keep like rubbing it in to get like a really like nice bold solid color um like line um so i like that about them and here i'll show you i'll show you all the colors actually because I think you might want to see that. Okay, so this one is in chocolate. This side is in chocolate. Okay, so I'll do chocolate for you. Chocolate. Um, okay, so that's chocolate, and it obviously is like the color of chocolate. Um, and then that one. The smaller one, that one is deep brown, which is a bit, it's a bit lighter, actually. But it's really close in color. Okay, and then, okay, and then, um, this one is in bronze, and it looks like that. And I really like these because they're they go on pretty smoothly. I mean, they might have clumps here and there. That's just because they're kind of cheap. Um, but I like that. And then the side is in black, and it's obviously like the most used. I don't use iron that much, anyways. But see, it's a nice black, and I really like it. So that's that. Um, I have two more products for you. Sorry, this video is so long. Okay, I have a dual ended lip gloss. Sorry, guys, just shook. I have a dual ended lip gloss. I actually really like this. The color path is actually pretty good. I mean, it could be better. Um, but this is like a plush pink, and this one's more of like a rose. This one, I don't know. It's like okay. This this the darker one is in plush, and then this lighter one is in illusion. And I love these. I I must tell you, I really do like them. I will swatch them for you guys. Okay, now when I show these to you, they may look like there's like no color payoff, but it looks um, there is a big color payoff on your lips. I promise. I'm trying to get the lighter one open. Okay. Trying to get some, so you can actually see. My class is taking forever. I apologize. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna do the of uh, the darker one again because. Okay, there we go. I apologize. Um, okay, so I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see the difference. Okay, so those are right there. So that one is the lighter one, and it's just a nice light pink just a nice light pink and I promise you the color payoff is a lot better than it looks like on my hand and that's obviously the darker one and I love it so darker one and then the lighter one so I like that okay and then I have one more this is this is I promise you it's the last one this is Alta's Super Shiny Lip Gloss, and this is literally, like, super shiny. Like, I'm going to put some on my lips. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, this lip gloss. What the heck? Oh, whatever. The Super Shiny Lip Gloss, this, this is obviously the clear one, but it comes in a lot more colors. Um... 
but before I get to that one, this one, it's, it's really, it's like not sticky, which is really surprising to me because I've had some, Alt I've bought some Ulta lip glosses and they were a bit sticky, but that one's not really sticky. Um, so then this super shiny lip gloss, if I can open it up, there we go. Let's see. This is kind of sticky. Yep, it's kind of sticky. People say it's sticky. I mean, it's okay. I don't have any other color besides the clear one, and the clear one I think is in the color. Oops, the sticker fell off. It's in the color crystal. Um, I haven't tried any of the other colors, so maybe you want to try it out. But it's kind of sticky, so um, I don't know. I wouldn't really recommend it. So, anyways, I think that is the whole video. Um, that is has been 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna wrap it up really quick. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever you want to. Um, and I will probably talk to you guys soon. I think I'm gonna make another video today so i hope you guys check it out because i think you guys will like it so i will see you guys later and i will talk to you soon all right bye